All right, today I'm going to basically give an overview of a really cool knife that I just bought from a dude named Evan um, Simbita or Simbita is how I think you say his name from Simbita Knives. Uh, he's on the forum as Blackhawk4500. His name's Evan. Awesome dude. I think he's from Ohio. Um, anyway, got this knife. It's uh, it's the Kestrel. Um, the unique thing about this particular one, and I have an out of control obsession for uh, green scale knives. But the cool thing about this one is normally I think he works in, in carbon steels like A2 or O1, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But um, this one is actually in D2, which he was experimenting with, which I'm a fan of D2. So I kind of jumped all over it. Um, asked about, inquired about getting on the list for this particular model. He said he had one in D2 bug and uh, so I jumped on it and uh, I got it and basically I haven't really done anything with it yet fit and finish is awesome really unique really cool green scales I guess I'll get it out of the way the one knock I would have on this and this is just personal with this scale material it's a little slick um, but with the contours of the handle you get excellent excellent grip so it is what it is it's not a slippery scale at all or a slippery feel in hand the scales are obviously slick but with this center contour here you get a lot of good traction in hand so i'm not worried about that in any way shape or form um this knife which i keep in focus here is uh not big but it's durable um you can see here it's four inch handle three and a half inch blade it's probably an eighth and eighth inch thick i would say um so it's stout knives i'd compare it to i have some here for purpose. probably more like one of the survive 3.5 or fall even or the uh, coster is not damn i didn't realize it was so big get that out of there uh se three for sure um or like an enzo so that's really kind of the scale or the uh, range of knife that I would put this this guy into um, is one of these kind of again just to give you some size scale here some comparison sorry if this is out of frame I'm doing this on the fly but uh, yeah let me start cutting some stuff with this dude and see uh, see what we have going but Okay, um, again, the uh, Ciambita Kestrel um, knife in D2. I don't think you can get a D2 um, version of this, so lucky me. And uh, I'm just going to beat on some stuff and just kind of put it through some works. Uh, I don't have a lot of wood right now because I just cleaned out a bunch of stuff in the backyard and I'm not out in the bush at all. So um, this is just knotty pine, no big deal whatsoever. And of course, the batoning beating stick. But um, I'm telling you, this uh, for a thicker blade because it is thicker. Um, by the way, I don't. I always use my knives, so brand new, pretty pretty custom blade. I'm gonna yeah, ding it up. I'm telling you, just right, just from messing around with this, just just right now, this is pretty damn similar. When it comes to feather sticking ability, um, and so for a thick knife, it feels really—I don't want to say dainty, but really, really finite and accurate. I mean, you can just—it takes big chunks of wood if you want. Again, this is pine, so it's not like it's a hard wood, but I mean, it just bites right through it. And again, it's—it's it's a saber with a convex edge. But um, man, it just bites in the wood, so uh, that's no effort whatsoever. And it's just coming off of there. So it, this is pine, so it, this is about as easy as it gets, but boy, this is a pleasure to work with. So easy, easy, easy to do a feather stick. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, again, I don't have anything really difficult to get through, but this is some knotty pine right here. Um, so let's just beat through it, do the proverbial baton video. 
no problem went right through that knot with no issue whatsoever again small piece of wood but uh, I don't think you'd have a problem um, using this on about anything it just goes right I just found it. a piece of uh, Osage orange out in the yard and I don't know if you guys have dealt with this wood before but it is as hard as a coffin nail so let's uh, see how this holds up I'm really interested to see the edge retention after going through some of this um, the knife did come with just a really fine honed edge so real pleased with that again fit and finish on this thing is awesome uh, but Osage orange is about as hard of a wood in my area in the Midwest as, as there is around and you can see what this dude is capable of doing. Thick blade, that type of detail. Um, again, no problem whatsoever, just going right through this wood. There's a big knot right here in this Osage Orange, and it is just going right through it. So, you can see just shredding it. Um, edge. There's a lot of stuff I've done off camera um, while making this, but the edge of this is holding up amazingly well. I'm still able just to rip right through the pine and and again, I'm really impressed. I normally don't like thicker blades for doing some real kind of carving whittling task you know usually when i get to a thickness of an eighth of an inch or more i'm thinking this is more of a like survival type of a, of a blade but man i think you're getting the best of both worlds here because i'm so impressed with the ability of this dude and this tool i mean this